another vlog. I just got done filming a tutorial. This is all drugstore makeup. I did like a kind of like a drugstore favorites makeup tutorial and I love how this turned out. I wish I was going somewhere today but I'm not. Um, I just love how like glam it is. Don't mind uh, this is Ruben's like little back inverter thing. Um, but anyways, I'm probably gonna pick this vlog back up tomorrow, but I quickly wanted to show you and unbox this rug together. Now I need a pair of scissors. So there is this rug from Pottery Barn that I just fell in love with. I wanted a rug for my upstairs hallway and I wanted a black one. I will put a picture of the one from Pottery Barn on the screen right now um, because that one, I think for the size that I needed was gonna be like $400. So I found this one from Target for $60. So we are gonna see if this is any good. Da, 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 da. Okay, I, by the way, I don't know what it is. Lately when I order stuff like the last year or two, stuff comes like in the packaging that it is rather than like a box or something. One time I ordered a kitchen mixer for my grandma for Christmas and it came in the KitchenAid box. I was like, someone's gonna steal that shit. <laughs> Why are you delivering it just like that? Um, okay, let's. thing too with um pottery barn there was a time when i added it to cart just to see like what shipping was going to be and everything and i think for that rug it was only white glove delivery which is like a hundred dollars for a rug it's like okay can we get somewhere in between like the plastic and the white glove delivery like both are opposite ends of the spectrum like just give it to me in a box okay so this is what the hallway looks like, just plain, nothing on the walls. Oh God, <laughs> I almost just died. Okay, we are gonna need, I think I've got some tape. Either tape or like a pad. Okay, oh my gosh. Maybe I should have went a little longer. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. I was a little nervous that it was gonna be too patterned because the one from Pottery Barn looked so subtle and beautiful. Um, Cause I get nervous with patterns. I'm like indecisive. Now I'm actually indecisive on the length. I got the nine foot one, but I'm thinking maybe I could have went longer. Right? Let's see here. It's kind of hard to tell because it keeps rolling up. should be fine, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. When I would look at it online, it's like I could tell. And like if I saw, if I saw the Pottery Barn one in person, I'd probably be like, oh, I like that one better. But like for that big of a price difference for $63 versus 400, which then you've got tax on top of that. Then you've got the $100 delivery. Like, that's just not worth it to me. Um, I love it. I love it. So what I'm thinking, I'd love to change the light. I hate this light. I mean, it looks fine, but it's so bright white that, like, I never use it because it's just, well, you can't tell right now. 
but at night it's just insane. I'd like to change that. But on the walls, I am kind of undecided on what I want to do. And I have to talk with Ruger and see what he wants. But I'm thinking three picture frames, decently sized, with like either photos we've taken from when we were in Alaska or like on any sort of like nature-y trip. So like mountains, forest, maybe the moose. Oh, that'd be cool. And then put some of those like on over top of each one, a battery operated artwork light. Don't you think that would look so pretty here? I originally was gonna do a giant piece that like I paint or something, I don't know. But yeah, I think I think the other one will look a little bit more fancy. Also, let me know if you want a tutorial on how I've been curling my hair. I feel like I've been doing it a little bit differently. Well, I've been doing the same thing, but I've just been kind of doing it differently where it kind of lays a lot more, I wanna say flat, but just not as curly. And it just, I feel like it almost looks straight with like a little bit of a bend. And I honestly like, I can't believe how long my hair has gotten. I feel like this doesn't look much different than when I had extensions. Like it's getting, it's getting so long. I like this side a lot better. I think because this one, I have some shorter hairs here that need to grow out, but um, I had my hair appointment. It was supposed to be this week, but I postponed it to October because I just really love my hair. Um, this is dirty hair too, and it, it gets darker when it's dirtier, but I'm just like liking the roots, and I'm not mad at the fact that like, because anytime you get your hair bleached, the tone kind of like fades over time. I still feel like really blonde and like my hair is now getting really long. It really needs a trim though. It's getting like really sheer and PC at the bottom, but I'm just, I'm just really happy with it. And I think it looks, it's just getting so long. And I think part of it is like, I'm just not hitting it with bleach all the time. So it's not like cracking off. And <laughs> um, I was looking at old, um, videos and pictures from when I went darker in 2021 and I eventually went too dark but the time right before I went too dark I really liked it and so I've just been contemplating that but I've got time to decide because my appointment isn't until like the end of October but um yeah I've just been just been really digging my hair now I think that I am gonna go do some editing I'm gonna go try to find some tape to tape down this rug because it um is so slippery and I need it to like not do that. I should actually look on Amazon to see if I can get um, a rug pad for underneath. So, cause that's probably mainly what we would need. But before I do that, I wanna make sure Ruben likes it. So I just need to like warn him before he comes home <laughs> that it is um, slippery. Cause I don't want him to break his back. What you doing? What you doing? Do you miss me? She never comes upstairs and hangs out with me while I film, so I just feel bad that she's just like alone all day. But like, that's your choice. You could come with me and hang out, but you like your couch, huh? You like to just stay down here. Oh, you're so beautiful. Wow, good job. That was the best I ever saw. So I think that I'm probably gonna sit here and either read my book or edit or whatever, but um, I will pick this back up in over the weekend. It's today's Thursday. Um, I was planning on vlogging this weekend, but I wanted to unbox that rug and show you. So I guess that I will see you guys in two days. <laughs> You guys it's the next day I'm gonna go run a couple of errands I want to go to Whole Foods because I think they have this wine brand that I really like um, fresh fine wines it's from Nina Dobrev and Julianne Huff um, it's like my favorite like low sugar wine I'd like to get a bottle of that there's something about like going into the fall season that like gets me excited to drink wine and then I'm gonna run into Bath and Body Works get a couple of fall candles and then I kind of want to stop by the bookstore and get a fall book. We will see. But first, 
gotta go get some Starbucks. So let's go. This is my makeup today, by the way. I wanted to do it a little bit more fall-esque. I always kind of change it up around fall and make it just a little bit more, um, just fall leafy. I grabbed my hazelnut tea lip liner from Laura Mercier, which is my favorite nude. Well, it's not even totally nude, but it's like a warm mauve nude. I have it on my lips right now, um, but I did deepen it up with Cool Brown from Anastasia, and I added a little bit of a nude lipstick in the middle, but um, yeah, I always kind of switch it up around fall. So if you want a tutorial on this, let me know. It's just like a very easy everyday look, and I don't know, I feel really good in it. Um, I'm not really loving my hair today though. I kind of did things in a different order than normal and I feel like, I don't know, maybe it'll get better as the day goes on. I don't know. Also, my rug pad came in for underneath the rug. So I'm gonna put that in so we can see what the rug looks like. Just a really good day. Today I woke up, it was like mid 60s, chilly and crisp and it's just been a very beautiful day and giving me all of the fall feels. Hi, can I get a grande pumpkin cream cold brew? 562 at the window. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, Hi. There you go. Thank you. Obviously, I've already been burning this one. Um, ugh, such a good scent. And then I also got this packaging. It's more of like a burnt orangey red color. And then I got my other favorite fall candle. This is Harvest Gathering. I think that this one is very underrated. Ugh. This to me just smells like Thanksgiving. I feel like leaves smells like it just encompasses fall where Harvest Gathering just makes me think of actual Thanksgiving. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I got two leaves to Harvest Gathering. I was looking for Pumpkin Bonfire because the last time I was in here they had it, but they were all sold out. And then I haven't smelled it since like last year. I went and smelled one of the single wick candle ones and it smells more like Christmas to me than fall so I'm glad actually um, or not glad but like it it's okay like I don't need it I was gonna come back next weekend or maybe get one online or something but um, yeah no need no rush so I'm very very happy with those um, I'm gonna run across the street to Whole Foods see if they've got that wine maybe get some flowers and then instead of going to the bookstore I'm gonna go to Amanda's because she just got this upright piano and she just had it tuned and everything so I want to see it. I'm glad I'm not the only one wearing a hoodie today or a sweatshirt. Um, you could definitely wear a t-shirt today but I think we're all just like we just had like a major heat wave all week long and so now that it's like 72 we're all like yes fall's coming or at least that's my perception but okay off to Whole Foods. I don't 
really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight oh. Okay, so they had only one bottle left from Fresh Vine Wine and I snatched it up. This is the Pinot Noir. I have had this before, it's really good. Again, very low sugar. Let me see what this says here, how many? Um, 3.3 grams of carbs for one glass um, and there's five servings per container. Um, yeah, it is kind of expensive, but it doesn't give me a headache and I feel like it's very potent, like I'm good with one glass. Last fall I had two, now, no, maybe I had three. I had three glasses and it like, the wine glass I had was huge. Um, of, I had their Chardonnay and I got like a little bit drunk and I don't drink much at all so that's also part of it but um, this is my drink of choice or a margarita but like I maybe drink twice a year if that I don't know like it really just depends um and there's just something about like a cozy fall night that just like makes me want to have a glass of wine so I picked some up um maybe I'll crack it open this week I'm home now and I'm just making myself some leftover tacos we have shredded chicken in some mole I just had a couple and I want more so I was like oh yeah let me show you what I'm eating these are just corn tortillas. When I am being more strict with my carbs and whatnot, I will have um, cauliflower thins, but when I'm not, I have these. Um, I'm gonna put these in the microwave for like 15 seconds, and then I probably should heat up some more. This is the chicken with the mole. It looks like this. <clears throat> I started, I came home and before I ate, I tried to film a podcast, but everyone was making noise outside, like mowing their lawn. There was traffic outside my house. It was so loud. You could hear everything on the microphone. I tried for like 30 minutes to record that and I just stopped it because I was getting so frustrated. I might try again later tonight or I might have to do it tomorrow, um, which sucks because I really to do that tomorrow i have other things planned so we will see my dad called me today and asked me about if uh my husband and i i don't know why i say husband like you don't know his name uh if reuben and i would be interested in a trip up to wisconsin we were planning one with reuben's parents to go in the camper so if we plan it accordingly we can do the first part with my dad at the Airbnb and then the second half in the camper. Let me know if that kind of vlog content would be interesting to you. If you would like like a fishing, camping, naturey type of vlog, if I'm there, I could record that. I feel like I've I've gone up there so many times and I usually utilize that for like Instagram pictures and stuff, but I've gotten a lot more into vlogging just over the last like two years. It's been like two years since we've really like gone up. Well, we went last year for our anniversary, but um, yeah, let me know if you would like some content like that because that is where I feel like I come alive. I love Wisconsin. It brings me so much joy up there, especially in the fall. And I've never gone when like it's fully colorful. I've only ever gone when it was colorful and you, you can see some remnants of it and we're like getting into like winter. Um, so yeah, if that is, if you would like a Wisconsin vlog from me or two or three or four, <laughs> let me know. I just love it up there. Okay, I'm just adding some sour cream and then my favorite hot sauce, which if you can't do hot, you are gonna hate this, but this is the El Yucateco hot sauce. I fucking love this stuff. It is spicy and I love it. So I put a little bit of that on. Okay, here are the tacos. They are super delicious. I've gotten um, a lot better at not putting so much hot sauce on these. I usually do double, 
but then I'm like dying. Um, but I love the flavor. The flavor of that hot sauce is just top freaking tier. I'm gonna sit with my little angel, watch a YouTube video, and I will check in when I'm done. I wanted to show you guys the rug, by the way. This is what it looks like now that it's like more relaxed. Um, some of these are still, like some of the edges are still flipping up. I've got the pad underneath so that it's extra cushioned when you walk on it and it doesn't slip around, it just stays put. But I need to get some tape for the edges so that they're not popping up like they are. But I love it. It's so cozy up here now because I just felt like this was a little bit stale and just like, I don't know, just really plain. So that added a little bit of character. And now I can't wait to add some picture frames. So I really wanted to share what's on my fall reading list. I have quite a few things. And then I asked you guys for fall recommendations on Instagram. I'm gonna share what a lot of you guys said over on there. I've already mentioned this book a million times, but I am still about halfway through the only one left. This does give very like, like I don't wanna say haunting, but just like eerie vibes. Loving it so far. We'll update you once I finally finish that. Um, I'm also listening to Dracula. I talked all about all of this in my August favorites video, but um, if you have the chance to read Dracula, highly recommend this version of the audiobook that I'm reading. Let me pull it up because the accents in this audiobook are just top tier. This is the one that I am listening to. I am. Okay, I have, well, I have 12 hours left, almost. It's like a 19 hour book. Yeah, those are what I'm reading currently. I have three that I've read in the past that I would recommend. The first one is Verity from Colleen Hoover. I think that's probably my favorite Colleen Hoover book. I would have it with me, but I think I lent it to somebody. That I really enjoyed. That's one that I could see myself reading again, maybe. That is about a woman who is an author and she gets the opportunity to, uh, to be a ghostwriter for a very famous uh, author. I can't remember all the details, but this famous author can't move or speak. So the main character goes to move into the home with this famous author, this woman, and she's moved in with her, her son, and her husband. She's there to like pick up where this famous writer had left off. Well, the famous writer's name is Verity. She's there to like pick up where Verity left off in this book that she's writing and then you learn some more information and it's super, super fascinating. And then another one that you've heard me talk about before, but this is one that I would totally read again. And I just loved this book. This is The House Across the Lake from Riley Sager. First and foremost, I love the cover of this. I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but the way that it feels, the like font, the colors, it takes place on the, I think it's on the East Coast or somewhere over there during the fall on a lake. And it's about this woman, she's an actress, but like you find out that she's kind of like, kind of in hiding. She makes a friend with another woman that lives across the lake with her husband. And now this woman goes missing and the main character is like trying to figure out what happened and it takes place in the midst of fall, the leaves are changing, it's crisp, she's like always on her porch. Just the whole vibe of the whole book is so good and it takes you for a ride. It was a roller coaster of a story. Highly recommend this. Um, this next book is one that I haven't read but I bought it. I can't believe I haven't read it yet because this is probably one of the number one recommendations that I get all the time. This is The Silent Patient. When I asked you guys for suggestions, this was one of the number one picks, so I will have to read this pretty soon. It looks like a decently small book. Let me read what this says on the inside. Alicia is a famous painter married to a fashion photographer, lives in a huge house in London. Um, her husband, Gabriel, returns home late from work and she shoots him five times in the face and then never speaks another word. Psychotherapist Theo Faber is captivated by her story and jumps at the opportunity to work with her and unravel the mystery of why she shot her husband. Sounds interesting. That kind of, sort of, ish reminds me a little bit of The Only One Left by Riley Sager. I guess I should have explained what this was about. This is about 
a caretaker who moves into this beautiful old house like on a cliff like this is exactly the vibe um and she's taking care of a woman who can't speak she can't walk she can't move um and this old woman is she's like been known she's been accused but acquitted of like a lizzie borden type of murder so it's like a lizzie borden type of situation of like she was accused of murdering her whole family but they couldn't actually find her guilty so now she like can't speak or move or whatever and so the main character is having to take care of her in the house where the murders happened and so it's like did she do it did she not what happened like it so it's different totally but it kind of reminds me of a similar thing with this where it's like you're trying to figure out what happened and why people were murdered or whatever so those so i'm gonna open up instagram and see your recommendations one of the number one book recommendations that i got on this list but also just in general is the whole court of thorns and roses i think that i said that correctly um that whole series here i know that you guys all had the same reservations as i'm having with this book is that it is fantasy and it has to do with like fairies and stuff and so i am like i don't know guys i don't know if i'm into that but i've never like read anything like that but I don't really watch shows like that either so I don't know but everyone is telling me that it is so good so but I don't get how that would be like fall to me when I think of fairies and stuff I think of spring let me know your thoughts and is that something that I should listen to on audiobook or should I like physically read it let me know your thoughts a lot of you guys said Dracula already reading that um, and I recommend that as well. Um, and I got a lot of recommendations for The Fourth Wing. That also, is that fantasy? I can't remember if it's fantasy or if it, it to me it gives, like the book cover gives me like Hunger Games vibes. But I don't know if that's the vibe of it. I didn't even read the info on that, but a lot of you guys said that as well. The Time Traveler's Wife and The Woman in the Window. I've actually seen both of those movies, but The Time Traveler's Wife, I don't think I've seen that in like, 15 years something like that it's been a really long time the first time that i watched that movie i didn't understand it but i'm like older now i feel like i would and i bet that the woman in the window is a way better book than it was a movie because the movie was so dumb i got a lot of recommendations for the practical magic series love that movie um i don't know if the movie's based on the book series but sounds cute i love that a lot of these are mixed with like halloween ones and then like cozy romantic like fall cozy ones i love the mixture so much harry potter i think maybe that could be a thing for me because okay i have heard i mean obviously the books are so popular but when i was growing up i didn't read very much so as an adult i feel like i could appreciate it a lot more um i watched the first movie and fell asleep during it so I think that maybe the books would be the way to go for me. And I think maybe an audiobook would be um, a better choice because there's a lot of books and they are big, thick books. But I've never read Harry Potter. So maybe I should listen to some Harry Potter this fall. Same with Twilight. <sighs> I've never read Twilight. I have seen all the Twilight movies. I think, I think maybe I'm good on Twilight. The other thing I'm intrigued with is Stephen King. I'm not a fan of his movies. Like I can appreciate them to a certain extent, but a lot of them, I'm just like, this is, it's the same song and dance with all of his movies. They all have the same kind of vibe. So I don't know, um, but I would maybe like to read one of his, maybe Misery. I think that would probably be a good one of his to read because I bet that the books are just better because there's something about the movies that I just, they give me like a cringe factor. The Housemaid, I do have that book somewhere in my house, but I haven't read it yet. The Family Upstairs, that was another one that a lot of you guys said. So what I will be reading this fall, out of all of those recommendations, absolutely gonna finish the books that I'm reading, which are the only one left in Dracula. At some point, I do really wanna reread this. It's just, I just really want to. And then I really wanna read The Silent Patient. And then I think I would like to read some kind of like 
spooky book. I don't know what yet. I can definitely see myself listening to Harry Potter on audiobook. And then I, I want just like one like, like spooky, like very Halloween type of book. So there were a couple of like witchy things in there, which here's the thing. I'm not really into that kind of stuff, but kind of like, I just don't want any of that shit to like attach to me. There was one about like demons and stuff that some of you recommended and I'm like, Ooh, don't want to be reading about it. But, um, I do like to get spooked a little bit. And I think that's why these types of books are more up my alley is because they're very like thriller esque. So yeah, I just wanted to share the recommendations that you guys gave me and then my personal recommendations. So I hope that that was helpful. So we are out on our nighttime walk. We don't do this very often, but I would like to do this more. It's about 7.15 to 7.30ish. And the sun isn't totally set yet, but it's just, oh, I've got an itch on my brow. Ugh. Um, come on, come on, let's go. Um, the sun isn't totally set yet, but it's just kind of looks like it. You can see where like the sun is setting. It's beautiful. Um, I would like to do this a lot more come at night before it's too dark out to go, but we didn't go this morning. So I wanted to get out here, get some movement with her and yeah, when we get back, I'm going to make her some dinner and I want to wash my face. <laughs> So I just got back in from our walk. So now I need to put on some pajamas. I don't know which ones I feel like wearing. I've been in a more like bougie, like satin pajama mood recently, but I don't know if I'm in the mood for that right now. Let's do these, why not? Is there from Victoria's Secret? Victoria's Secret is where I have gotten all of my satin pajama sets from, but they don't have the best selection anymore. I don't know why they got rid of the ones that I have. Just got changed into my pajamas. I think I might, I don't know if I wanna go read or get to editing on some stuff. Because I do have quite a bit of editing to do tomorrow. So if I start on it now, then it will, I'll have a head start on it. But then at the same time, I'm like, you gotta take time for you. Have alone time with us, Moo. Maybe I do that. We do some snuggle time. You wanna do some snuggles? You wanna do some snuggles? I kinda wanna order some ice cream. take off my makeup I wanted to share my current uh, skincare routine but I also wanted to try something new so lately well normally I use the Clinique take the day off balm but today I want to try this from Desi skin this is the skin so balm makeup melting cleansing balm they sent this over in the mail along with the canvas gentle detox cleansing gel um i kind of want to try both of these today but really quick i have been using the ordinary like a ton they sent over pretty much like a um a skincare skincare routine that they thought would be good for me so they included this oh i cannot pronounce that glyo wait glycolipid that that's what it is glycolipid cream cleanser i've been loving this i use it pretty much daily and then the hyaluronic acid plus b5 serum love this and then also the multi-peptide copper peptide serum and then this which has been really nice for my under eye area i normally just use my moisturizer underneath my eyes because they have the same ingredients but this was kind of interesting because this was kind of like a serum for your eyes and i feel like i just love the way that it feels this is the caffeine solution um 
for your eyes. So I've been using this daily. And then for my morning moisturizer, I use the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors and Beta Glucon. It's just a face moisturizer and it kind of comes out clear, which is really interesting. So um, I just wanted to show you that because that's, um, I have been using the Ordinary a lot more recently, but tonight I want to use a couple new products and I want to use my retinol. I've been using the Summer Fridays retinol, so I'm going to use that tonight. When I wash my face, I also use my face halo. I love the I love these so much. It just helps get everything off without having like scrub and it's it's works so well. So I always use my face halo. And then another addition to my skincare routine, which has been amazing, is these little thingies. These I just got from Amazon. Oh, there's a hair on here. Um let me roll these up you put them on your wrists so that when you're washing your face the water doesn't like drip down and soak your arm <laughs> it's really nice okay so I am gonna try out the Desi skin skin so balm makeup melting cleansing balm oh good lord Heck. this is not the best packaging for that oh my gosh that's like impossible Okay, I hope she ends up reformulating the packaging into something like this because that was really hard to get out. But, ooh. Oh, it's already working so well. Wow. I just like saw it just melt off right away. Normally, when I use the Clinique one, it all just kind of like moves around in place where this like moved around and disappeared right away. I feel like I don't usually see the disappearing until I've like gone in with water. So that's good. I like the smell. It just smells like a balm, like an unscented type of thing. And then I'll usually go in with like a second round to get my mascara. even better than the Clinique one. The good thing about the packaging though is now when I go in for round two, I'm not dipping my wet hands into the jar. That is a downside of packaging like this. So I can see why she did this. That does make sense, but it is tricky to get out. But I'm going with round two for my eyes. And we'll see if this burns my eyes. I feel like it's usually actually the mascara that burns my eyes. Okay, I'm just gonna let this sit here and then I'll rub, sit, and swipe. Now I'm gonna try the Desi Skin Canvas Gentle Detox Cleansing Gel. So now I'm going to use the Summer Fridays Midnight Ritual Retinol Renewal Serum. <laughs> That's a long name. Um, I've been really liking this a lot because this is a very gentle serum. I feel like I am wanting to incorporate, um, or not gentle serum, I'm sorry, a gentle retinol because I have been wanting to incorporate retinol into my skin into my skincare routine and it can be a little intimidating because it can like <laughs> completely dry out your skin and it can like peel and stuff if you go too crazy um or just like have a high dose so i wanted something that had like a lower um not necessarily like a lower dose but just like something a little bit more gentle for me so this is that for me um i do two pumps 
and I rub this in on the skin and it's really good for anti-aging gives my skin like super soft like tomorrow I'll wake up and my skin is gonna feel like a baby like baby skin and I break it all the way down I just had a pimple I had to mess with it um I'm gonna go into the caffeine solution for my under eyes see it's like this serum and then put it on the orbital bone and then because i did my retinol tonight i'm going to use my bougie moisturizer um i only use this now when I use my retinol because this is extra hydrating. So this is the moisturizing soft cream. I have been rationing this, which is why I only use it when I'm using the retinol because I don't want it to go to waste. And then at nighttime, I like to lock everything in with the Naturium Virgin Marula Face Oil. I love this. I feel like this is exactly like the Drunk Elephant Oil. I like to put this on at the end. So it just locks everything in. And I go to bed like oiled and greased up. Oh, it is real nice. And whatever I've got left over on my hands, I'll do the back of my neck and all over my hands. I just thought of Gwyneth Paltrow. And that's it. It's time for bed. <laughs> I really need to clean my brushes. My hair brushes and my makeup brushes too. And I like to brush my hair before bed. Oh, one more thing that I want to do. I swear, this works every time I have a pimple. I am going to spot treat this with the Kiehl's Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil. I have had this for forever and like it is still so full, but I use it all the time as a spot treatment. Um, I don't think it's even advertised for that, but that's how I use it and it works every time. So I'm going to take the tiniest bit, just, I didn't even like press it down because it's, it's like an oil and I'm just going to dot it on that. And then I need to find, do I have any, anywhere else that needs it? Um, and I bet that'll be gone in the morning. <laughs> if it's not gone, it's at least reduced. And then within like two days it's gone. I swear it, this stuff. Is awesome oh I have one more spot it's on my boob yeah it works like a charm okay and that is my skincare routine I am going to get in bed I am feeling so glowy so so glowy yeah I'm gonna head to bed I'm probably gonna watch a movie or maybe read a book or something but it for this vlog thank you for hanging out with me uh please subscribe and i will see you in the next one